So I wanted to do an update on my VertDesk V3, basically a warranty update. I had a problem with my VertDesk. So if you know, don't know, I have a sit-to-stand desk. I, Vert desk. You can go back and watch the video. It's one of my older videos that uh, still gets views, but man, I have learned a lot <laughs> since then. Uh, I've got a lot of better equipment uh, to help me probably record if I, I do plan on buying another desk at some point. So um, record and do that later on a little bit better. But the Vert desk V3 has been a great desk, but it's been a couple years, and I I've stood all last year and. I had a stomach bug and I was not feeling good, so I wanted to sit down. <laughs> and so I tried to lower the desk. Lo and behold, then when I wanted to, try, wanted to stand up, and it wasn't working. <laughs> so it would only go up by an inch. It had an F07 air, and really a, not a good time, right, when you want to up and lower the desk whenever you want, right? That's why you got to sit sit the stand desk so you can do both. And so here I go, I contact uh, BYOD, Beyond the Office Door, and they got back to me very reasonable within, I, I was shocked at how fast they got back to me. I, I don't even remember how fast it was, but it was, I, I guess I could look at the email, but it was very quickly. It was less than, you know, a couple hours, and maybe even faster than that. And we emailed back and forth. They wanted the serial number of the control box. So you got a control box. Um, and if you watch the video, you'll kind of see it. It's, still, it's a little box about this big. And it plugs in power on one side and then your uh, motor controller and the um, controls to basically your buttons, your one, two, three, four, or up, down buttons, um, your presets, your memory, all that into it as well. So you can tell it, you know, what to go to. So. I was just like, I really don't want to do that, but I can do that later on. I'm, I'm working. I can get back to it. So I went through, and I um, uh, they got back to me, and they just said, oh, we don't need it. We'll send you out one. So no questions asked. They sent one out um, after the air. They said that air there, which was a great thing because I did not have to take that off until I needed a new, until I got the new controller. I have a wire management that covers everything up. And, well, I wish it covered up all the wires, but it covers up all of the other stuff, um, like the um, uh, power, power strips and the control box. So we got that back. They sent it out, and they sent it out really quick. I mean, they had RMA info in the box with a FedEx shipping label. It was shipped out fast. They had... Um, RMA numbers and a whole set of things that you need to return in there, and then they, ha you know, they had the controller and the um, the single motor control box with, uh, with the gyro sense, and then it has a four button programmable mini switch that we're both have supposed to be replaced, and then you send back the old ones. Really seamless. I mean, this is one of the best uh, RMA experiences on getting the product out. Now here I live in Wisconsin; they ship out of Wisconsin, so it was a it was a fast turnaround there. But it's really one of those things that I really like to do, or like to see a company do, is to have that fast turnaround, have that seamless thing. And I already sent it back to them. I, I swapped it out as soon as, well, about a day later when I got it. Went on real easy, everything else. The new uh, uh, four programmable controller up down is slightly smaller than the old one. Fine, whatever. But they did a really good job, and I just wanted to, you know, if, if you get one of these desks and you run into an issue, contact their support. It seems really good, and I just appreciate it. I didn't run into this issue before. I didn't have a reason to really call support for an issue, and they did a wonderful job. So I just want to put that out there here. If you're looking at a sit-to-stand desk, you're looking at, you know, okay, what have you done with maybe warranty issues or whatever else? You're looking for help. You know, th these are one of those things that you you really don't get from a company if you're, you know, going back and forth. And you know, at the end of it, right there, I, I always go, well, yeah. <laughs> Later on, I you know they'll find out here because I'll I'll tell them that I, I did a video on you know how I think your warranty went because I, it's, I don't say this beforehand because I want to get the raw experience. <laughs> of how bad you are or how good you are it's, it's it they ha most companies have been improving lately but there's still some that is like eek that's not something i want to do but 
that's what I that's what I like to do. So they'll they'll be notified of this, and hopefully that they continue that customer support going forward. And if I have an issue, I'll be definitely to uh, contact them again because, you know, something like this, you don't want to spend all this money on a sit to stand desk, which was over a thousand dollars, right, for the sit to stand desk, tabletop length and all that for what it is, and then have an issue uh, even a couple of years down the line because that's a lot of money to sink into a desk. So. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking the time to help support Gregory Avalon and help this uh, channel grow. Leave in the comment section below if you've had any good or bad warranty experiences. I'd love to be able to hear them as well. And uh, until next time, make sure you do all the fun YouTube stuff. You know, like, share, subscribe. And until next time, God bless.